what would you say to others listening or watching that um, looking at this, and we talked about this a little bit in the beginning, um, but they may be looking at this saying that you've had the easy paths to success. Um, I, I know I'm for sure like incredibly blessed, right? To even just live in this country with so much opportunities. It's definitely like a huge blessing. Um, and the thing is like everything's relative, right? Like no matter where you start, there's something, there's a reason why you're there, right? So just think about like whatever you're going through right now, everybody's going through something right now, especially in 2020, we're gonna say goodbye to 2020 soon, but there's something, right? And whatever that pain is, like for me, like that pain was not making enough money to like see my family when we had an emergency. Like that was like so painful for me. And I used that pain to drive me to ultimately get what I what I needed to have so that wouldn't happen again. So like everybody's in a different state, right? Maybe you're in debt right now. You don't know how to get out of it. Or maybe you're in just uh, like a job or a career that you don't know how you could have financial freedom from that job, right? Whatever that is, like just draw from that, you know, draw from that pain and use it to propel you forward because there's so many different ways. And if, if you are going to go to the summit, you're going to learn about like 10 different ways to figure out something to increase your income, right? Whether it's active or passive. So use that, as, use your pain as inspiration and help you prepare, uh, help yourself propel forward in, into that new thing you're going to yeah. do. Cause, yeah, because because pain is a double-edged sword. Um, so for folks like like what, what you just described, use that. Use that as fuel. Um, a lot of people use it as excuses because um, if you want an excuse, you'll always find one. Uh, regardless of where you are in life, you'll always find one. But instead, if you can use that as, as fuel to figure it out, like you are where you are. There's no changing that. Regardless of whatever your situation, there's n there's no changing your current state, but you can change tomorrow. Right. Uh, I, also want add, from now. I also want to add just like habits, right? Like Chris, you run Ironman. Ironman races and I'm like well how am I <laughs> how am I supposed to do that right I'm just starting like this fitness journey and you know like so it I think what's important when you're starting something is just put in like put in place little habits right so maybe you want to buy a real estate deal well it doesn't have to be I have to buy a real estate deal next week right maybe start saying I'm gonna spend five minutes each day looking at realtor.com or looking at the stuff my agent sent me, or studying for the agent class, right? Like just that five minutes a day, that habit is what helps you get there, right? Like that's super, super important because it it's really the minutes each day that add up to what we eventually achieve. Not like it's not going to happen all in one day. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I mean, you take that five minutes, 15 minutes or chapter, a book or whatever, like, you did that every day for 365 days, like how much smarter are you going to be or more educated and get a clear idea of whatever that subject matter is, history, real estate, finance. Uh, it, it It's going to happen. Now what you do with it is still the X factor. 